to my channel, my first video for 2016 and my last video with this background in, in this room. It's very different for me because my whole YouTube life has been in this one bedroom for over two and a half years I think now. So a bit of a change coming up. But I hope you guys do enjoy the change as well because obviously it is for you guys. Anyway, today's video is going to be a lip swatch and review video for the Maybelline Matte Lipsticks. These are not out yet in Australia. They will be out in February. They are the new Color Sensation Creamy Mattes by Maybelline. So I guess that means they're not as matte as the average matte lipstick, which I found out as you watch the video. But as you can see, they've got some absolutely gorgeous shades. So I'm sure you guys will be very interested in these like I was. If you guys want to know my opinion and see the entire range, then definitely keep watching. Okay, so the first colour is called 655 Daringly Nude. And I'm a sucker for cosmetics that smells good. Oh, it smells really sweet. I'm going to try not to overline my lips, but Lord knows it's going to happen. Ooh, I want to overline them. So tiny. So of course, for my very first impression, I did expect this colour to be a little bit more on the nudie side rather than having that little bit of pinkness in it. Because this is the lighter shade in their range, I kind of expected it to just be a pure basic nude. But I'm not complaining, I love this colour. The formula is really nice. I really did not think that I would love them that much because I am a matte girl. Stralis Velour Lips Matte and they are so drying that a majority of people cannot wear them because they're so dry on your lips but that is me in a nutshell. I need them that matte. So these are still quite moisturising but they have that matte look. So I would say is what 90% of people would probably want is something that still looks matte but it's not going to completely dry your lips. Like I can still rub my lips together. Whereas with like the Colourpop liquid matte lipsticks and the Lime Crime and the Australis, I can't do that. But yes, I'll say that the matteness is not up to my standards of matte. But in saying that, I have a freakishly high tolerance for matte lips. Like I love them flakingly dry. Oh, came off into my cup. comes up very easy like I'm not even using a remover I'm just using like a tea towel I know that's kind of weird to use a tea towel but okay so number two is 660 touch of spice and I have a good feeling about this one it's my type of shade oh yeah oh Most people that makes ugly lipstick applying faces. I'm a looking and I'm a liking. Yes, Maybelline. Thank you. <laughs> I love this type of berry shade. It's actually the strangest lipstick in the way that it does look matte, but when I rub my lips together and when I apply it, it does not feel like a matte lipstick. It just feels like your average non matte lipstick. Next I'm applying 665 Lust for the Blush, which is this kind of pinky movie shade. I love that moment when a lipstick has never been touched or used. Mm. Oh, this is going to be quite pink. Okay, so I'm not going to lie, that's a pretty horrible application. But I will say that the formula for this one feels a little bit different feels a bit more matte in my opinion okay so it's more of like a bright pink something that I can appreciate but I probably would not be wearing so next is number 680 in mesmerizing magenta mm. so this color is a little bit loud for me <laughs> it's a very bright pink and I'm just not a fan of those colors I know I said that the pink one was too bright for me, but this is definitely my kind of bright lipstick. Goes perfect with tan skin, bronzed eyes. Oh. I know everyone has different tastes and you guys might think this is the worst, but this is literally my favourite one I have tried so far. I'm usually not the biggest fan of bright oranges and corals, but this just does it for me. I don't know what it is, but... 
and I don't want to wipe it off, but I have to. <gasps> okay, we've got two more to go, and obviously they're in the darkest shade. So this one is 690 Siren and Scarlet. Love my darker shades, so I really know I'm gonna love these. Like, come on. Yes. Matte reds, just the look of it. Just just look at that and This better be amazing because I have high hopes for this. What is that? What is that? I swear on makeup artist guys. Like, what have I done? So this is it with a very horrible half over line of my lip over here but We'll just look past that. Definitely a stunning red. Like it's one of those ones that's not too blue, not too orange. It's a good in between. Okay, my lips are getting pretty sore now. Oh, this isn't stain, this is blood. The next one is 695 Divine Wine. And this is probably gonna be my favorite because I can't take myself seriously with this like weird lip thing going on. This one's probably going to be my favourite because I love deep brownie plum shades all day, every day. Not just at night time. In the morning, 6am. Oh yeah. This is my shade. Ooh. I mean, there's no doubt this is my absolute favourite shade. This is me in a lipstick. Dark, vampy. Yes. Okay guys, so that is a whole of eight lipsticks swatched. That is the whole collection. To give you a quick recap and review, I am very impressed with these lipsticks. They're not drying at all. They still look very matte. A lot of people would be very happy with the formula because most people I know cannot stand the dryness of like the velour lips, the lime crime lipsticks, um, Colourpop. Even though that's what I kind of prefer, these are also really good. I will say that I definitely prefer the darker shades because that's just me. I love my vampy dark lipsticks. But that's also one of the great things about this collection is that they've really catered for everyone. They've got your nudes, your pinks, your corals, oranges, your purples, and your dark vampies for the Jessica Whites out there. So I would give these lipsticks like a... Maybe a 7 out of 10. Not because there's anything wrong with these at all. It's just I'm the type of person that loves my super dry, super long wear lipsticks that you can like scrub at them and they will not come off for days. So that's just me. But they are really nice and the formula is really lovely and I love most of the shades. Okay, so embarrassing moment. <laughs> if I had actually read the pamphlet that came with it, I would have known that they are actually the creamy matte. So that explains why they are a lot more creamy than your average matte. I'd just like to end this by saying thank you to Maybelline for sending this to me because that is so incredibly nice. They did not ask me to review it at all. They just kindly sent me these lipsticks and that's so sweet. If you guys have any comments or questions about this video, then definitely leave it below for me. If you enjoyed, please give a big thumbs up and subscribe and I'll hopefully see you next time. Bye!